Shout out to Mobamba. What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI, Botchamania463. I didn't get the tag in any tweets, so I'm pretty sure I don't have any memes on it this week, which is fine, or well, this month, or however frequently these are coming out. These seem to be on a real weird um, kind of schedule at the moment. Shout out to Matthew, as always. He does great work. I really enjoy listening to the uh, Cultaholic podcast or watching it on YouTube with Ross. Ross, uh, Ross Twiddell, Ross on wrestling, is that what he is on Twitter? And I've been keeping a lot more an eye on what's going on in WWE lately. I'm keen for the Survivor Series, the uh, Bloodline against the Brawling Brutes and KO and uh, Drew McIntyre. Uh, and I'm keen as for the women's war games match as well. But anyway, let's have a look at Botchamania. Let's see what's going on. This is Slam Sam Meadowood here. Follow me on Twitter at Rep Slam Sam. And you're watching Botchamania. Guys. Yeah. Get out of the corner, boys. Wrestlers. <laughs> what do we got here? You know what it felt like when you put this ball in my hand? What? Destiny. It's like I'll be waiting my whole life for this game of lawn bowling. Man, you talk too much. Hey, you can talk all you want when your game backs it up. Who's talking too much? Oh, <laughs> and he botches it. Botchamania. <laughs> what? So, did you give any thoughts to my proposal? <laughs> That's awesome. So somebody who's making that movie is clearly a huge fan of Botchamania. That is amazing. And barely on the top. Yeah, this was oh, brutal. Oh, oh. Cut to a different clip of other women's tables this week. Okay. Any clip? Any? The whole gravity in all its glory. <laughs> Pretty lame. House. Whoa, bro. Dial it back a little bit. It's time. Yeah, this is called the big time. What do we got, Taz? And the winner of this match will face Bandito or, or Roosh on Friday on Rampage. And Taz, just a small correction. On Friday night, it will be Roosh and Bandito in their first round matchup in the Eliminator Tournament. Taz. What are you correcting? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they got to wrestle each other. Okay. Whoever wins that, face well, yeah, the winner face of this. Face the winner of this. Yeah, but this is not happening Friday on Rampage. Okay. All right. No if problem. I jump in between you two guys for just a moment. <laughs> Shut up, Tony. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of closer opponent, you got a rear chin lock in. Notice how Ethan Page keeps his head, his ear down on his opponent at all times. You want to keep that weight. Yeah. Keep rolling on, Taz. Shivani leave? Dynamite drop in, Tony. <laughs> 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 yes, you're exactly right, Taz. <laughs> Just blow me off or reply. Uh, yeah, one of the he, he hit the wrong button on a soundboard. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking, what the hell is he talking about now? I better respond. <laughs> I'm only the best analyst in the game. But Who knew Shivani and Taz was going to be such a fun um, duo on commentary? It makes sense, because Shivani's great. And, and your point earlier, Excalibur, you can tell they both know each other quite well. You're right, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I love this job. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. Miss. Miss. <laughs> Who, from the AW team, in your opinion, should never be at the commentary table? Taz. Tonight. Well, we are live, Tom. We are live, JR. I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> After 2017, the head injury, no one they really expect him to make his way back, did they? No way. Well, is this Shibata's return is an amazing story because he had brain surgery and was very close to death after his April 2017 match with Okada where he delivered a sick headbutt and ended up bleeding his brain. I think I heard about that. I remember Solomon's still talking about that. And needing emergency surgery to save his life, they had to remove his brain during surgery and put it back in. At the time, the doctors said there was no way possible he could ever wrestle again. Shit. After 2017, the head injury, no one they really expect him to make his way back, did they? No way thought he would exist. 
No, I mean, it, it was it was a moment where, where the doctors feared for Shibata's life, not just his career. Dude. <laughs> oh, oh, suplex of my... Of my Backdrop! All right. And probably not, not oh, sure where he is. Well, the stretch, the abominable stretch. Oh, that's right, Mike Tyson was on commentary. The abominable stretch. I, listen, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. F off. <laughs> My favorite Mike Tyson interview was when he's talking about his broken back. What part of it is broken? Spinal. I've done Madison Square Garden. I've done the O2. I've done the Tokyo Dome. And now I'm in front of an ungrateful b By the way, I got the dumb mix up. Sumo hole, been in my promo. I was like, fuck, what a dummy. <laughs> the way support has been amazing. Thank you so much. Ah, that's okay, Soraya. That incel, y'all gonna wanna jump on the gravy train that is LA Knight. La Knight. <laughs> Pop tart announcer over here. Just couldn't happen to get my hometown right a couple weeks ago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hagersville, Maryland, weighing in at 240 pounds. Believe me, I understand it. What you were feeling was the undeniable Kaborka of L.A. Knight. You got lost in these baby blues, but <laughs> that intro you just did, that ain't good enough for the megastar. I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. Don't put the pain on. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've listened to my podcast, you know that's true. I don't think I was a good wrestler. So I don't this. think Brett was a great wrestler. I, he was wrestler. I think I was a better sport. The old shake, rattle, and roll counted into the sharpshooter. <laughs> After Road Dog made those ridiculous fucking comments. I know writers who use subtext, and they're all cowards. <laughs> <laughs> I never get that intro. I never understand it. And it's fitting because I I think Jeff Jarrett is boring as fuck and I don't get half of his shit either. <laughs> Tons of crazy spots, but something that only could happen maybe in TNA happens. While Christian's climbing, has you hey, before he gets into this, can I just say I really enjoyed Kazarian's like little push that he had towards the TNA title. I think it was not quite this time, a little bit after this, he had another real good push. I was all on board for that. It's a shame it went nowhere. Uses a springboard dropkick to the ladder, knocking him over. In doing so, the contract for the title match that was hanging above now falls to the ground. And here for Whoops. a moment, nobody really knows what to do. And Meltzer says this has happened in the past in TNA, and they've rehung it. But it would have killed the flow. Luckily, the clipboard didn't fall, so they now said the person who grabs the clipboard is the winner. <laughs> it's a little thing, but it kind of takes you out of it a little bit, does it not? Unfortunately, it takes you out of it. Kaz and Christian can go. They tore it down. <laughs> so... This could be a women's match. Hire a HR expert. <laughs> wow. Wish I was playing World of Wrestling. Okay, all right, what are we gonna do? Who booked this crap? That's a classic. Walla likes anime women. Who doesn't like anime women? Sierra must... Greater than Sprite, okay? Gacy likes pineapple on pizza. Look, I don't hate... If people want pineapple... If people want pineapple on pizza, that's fine. But no thanks. Remake Earthworm Jim already. Wow. We're doing this a wrestling show. Congratulations. Nobody cares. By the way, I, a lot of people probably don't know this, but the uh, the classic Botchamania font is called Earthworm Jim. This one. Congratulations. Nobody cares. Is that Gangrel, by the way? There's a coffin in there. I'm guessing it is. And girls like these dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> hey Dubai, I know you guys are stupid, but I asked, do you guys want to see me box? What the fuck is this? 
Such a heel. Such a heel. Never say never. And uh, hey, if the right opportunity comes, everybody can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why don't you have a boxing match against Andrade? Oh, that would be amazing. Behind him. Oh, boy. Now that drop kick, uh, DeFurio who, who has done some good things, that drop kick was not good because if you notice when he came up, <laughs> he had his legs spread out. And of course, he was the target. You can't do that. <laughs> Thanks for the insight. But how confident you are. How about it? So as I was saying, I think we really need to get the championship back because Judas needs to be your champion. This guy right here doesn't... That's why you don't try a bullshit Why you to spray me? You want to fight? You want to fight? Doesn't... Well, you know what, fellas? It's fight night. Oh, they're going to get it on? Bro, back up. The Celtic Warrior. Oh, I thought this was leading to more of that last group. And tonight is the start of the end of the bloodline. <laughs> you can't even get the mic to work. I mean, come on. What else? Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> I've no problem saying it right to your face. The truth of the matter is, you want. Oh, look at this now! Seamus! <laughs> oh, not many. Maybe. This one came out really early. Uzi. Uzi. Uzi, no. <laughs> Yikes! In the way! Right here. Ah. This, hey, ain't no more YouTubers coming over here anymore. Not true. Oh, there's a lot. Not true. <laughs> hey, oh. hey, it's I. <laughs> this Mr. is great. I Adam from FWCI. Let's do it. I'll take you on, Roman. Mega Man 2. What? Uh, that one went way over my head. I know this is, if the glove doesn't fit, then you must have quit. But, uh, what was that all about? The uh, glove recovered at Bundy as well as the glove recovered at Rockingham. <laughs> ah, good call. Good call. All right. Thank you, Council. Uh, come on, Luann. You know what this is. Dignity. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. It could not be more simple, Luann. Five superstars will compete in this unique 25 minute match. They will battle each other and the clock. Two superstars will start the match. <laughs> Says Shawn Michaels explaining the deadline match. Pinfall, submission, or disqualification. When a superstar wins a fall, they will earn one point. However, when a superstar loses a fall, they must pay the penalty. They are forced out of the ring and into the penalty box for 90 seconds. Once the 90 seconds are up, that superstar can win for the match. The superstar who scored the most falls from the clock gets 25 minutes to remain the Iron Survivor. Well done, whoever made this. <laughs> It's the Iron Survivor Challenge. Yeah! Don't you even know NXT deadline? Do you when you see it? I'm sorry, I'm not as smart as you, Kirk. We didn't all go to Trace University. <laughs> Duke. Love Duke. Somebody once told me the world what? is gonna rule me. Smash Mouth is playing him to the ring. <laughs> She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. He's like a recognizable boy. The years stop coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and they hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb. Oh my god, no, this is Jericho singing it. <laughs> no, if you don't go down. Yeah. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Oh, hey now, you're a rock star. I get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. I get the show on, yeah. Oh, Jericho, I don't know if you can quite pull off that song. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, no, this is Masked Singer, isn't it? All right, I actually didn't see his thing on there. Oh, Christ. You understand? He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand. Setting up that chair and... Jungle Boy! Oh, just... That was nasty. That the was chair brutal. you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair I in the world. I don't know what game this is. <laughs> it's violating your backside. Um... Alright, game. Pick your language, man. Michael Palin, what's he doing? What is this going on here? It's not hot! <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> It's not hot. What is this place? Oh God! All right, <laughs> that was worth that build up. One idiot said it's all about the story, the character, the dark psychological thriller, the writing. It's all fucking phony. The first Silent Hill. I, I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing here. Really? <laughs> Does this go for ages? Alright, I didn't bother including the uh, Silent Hill Cornet thing because I've never played the Silent Hills and I was just getting none of the jokes, so I'll spare you guys the pain of watching me not understand anything about any of the Silent Hill franchise. But, Botchamania, always amazing. There's some decent memes at the end. The one with uh, Michael Palin, that was like a solid like 30 seconds of him just looking at his hand before we get Hulk Hogan going, It's not hot! Which is one of my favorite highlights from uh, early WCW. That and the Shockmaster, pure comedy, and uh, Botchamania is also pure comedy. Thanks for checking this one out. I'm going to react to all the Botchamanias, so uh, subscribe if you want to see that. Go check out all the other stuff on my channel as well. I've got heaps of more content coming. Pretty much daily uploads most of the time. Movies, TV shows, you name it. Botchamania. Check it all out. And as always, be well, stay safe. Look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.